Hello and welcome back my ever so lovely viewers. By the title of today's video, you could probably tell what we're talking about today. We're gonna go through how I started out training, my evolution, my training, what I switched up, my split, yada, yada, yada. How much stronger did I get? All that great stuff. So basically I'm 22 now. I just turned 22 a couple months ago. I started working out when I was 19 around like the fall, like October-ish. And you know, when I first started out, I didn't really have a split per se. I just kind of like looked out, looked up random workouts. Sometimes it'd be like chest drives, arm workouts, blah, blah, blah. So I did that for the first couple of months and I made pretty good progress. I just remember I'd go with a friend and I'd kind of like guess through the, the weights and like exercises that I was doing. I didn't really know how to like target the muscles properly and like actually use my muscle connection to get like the full contraction stuff. But I don't really think that matters too much when you're a beginner. I think as long as you go in with some effort, that's really all that matters and that's all it takes to make progress in your first just couple months. Obviously you'll make really, really um, great progress. The first couple months of training, um, that's arguably when you make the most progress, I think. So that was when I was 19. Previously to that, I did, I think I did a year or two of weight training in high school and that was pretty much just powerlifting. I don't remember too much about it, but I remember my strength levels. I remember I couldn't do 135 and then by the end of the year, I hit 135 for one and I was pretty hyped about that. I mean, in high school, that was kind of tough. 135 on bench for one. When we were like 15, 16, not a lot of people could do that. Fast forward to I was 19, I was working out at just like a local commercial gym. I'd have a friend that would go with me. We'd probably work out like two or three times a week for like a couple months or whatever. Uh, I think actually just like one month and then he eventually stopped going for whatever reasons, not sure. I was already hooked on like the progress I was making and stuff like that. And I just found it really fun because I always like physical activities. So I just kind of fell in love with like bodybuilding, you know, working out. So I kept going after he stopped. And then I started really getting into a lot of online fitness influencers. I was watching like Alex Eubanks old videos. You can go back like three years or something on his channel and just watch the ones where he pretty much just talks to the camera. Just like um, basement workouts like that, gives advice. So I was watching him a lot. And he's really the one that introduced me to like actually training splits, like what you eat, calories in, calories out. Cause before I started working out and really researching training and nutrition, I had no idea about calories in versus calories out. So I found out all that good stuff, like one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You want that spread out through like five meals a day. He also taught me you want like 20 sets to like 30 sets a week for total volume for each muscle group. I think he said something like that. I don't know if that's still true or not. That's what they say, but that's kind of like what I followed after that. So I started watching him like almost every night. I remember I just have like a little laptop in my bed and I'd pull up like an Alex Eubank, a couple videos or two before I went to bed. I just remember being really into it, really into counting calories at first too with the MyFitnessPal app. Then I started like my first actual split of like push pull legs. So I think I had like a notes document on my phone. I think I do two exercises for chest, two for shoulders, two for tries. And that's pretty much all I did. I didn't really track my weight or my progression, but I didn't really have to. Obviously I was just a beginner, so I was gonna get stronger no matter what. I probably could have just done the most random split. But I was going like six times a week, sometimes seven times a week the gym. I just remember like that first year of working out. It was just so fun. I just made so much progress. It was like the main thing in my life that I'd look forward to every day. I, I had an outside manual labor job too at a car wash. So I'd go there and I'd just come home basically. I'd eat, I'd chill, then I'd go work out at night, come back and get like a meal in. That's what I did for like a year, year and a half. And then eventually I kind of got sick of push pull legs. I don't know. I just don't, even now I don't really find push pull legs that fun. So I actually ended up switching up to like the four day split and then like a bro split sometimes. So that's what I was running for like another year and a half probably after that. Still like, you know, working out six to seven days a week. I just remember I'd really just like try to just tear as much muscle fiber down in the gym that I could. I would basically just try to get as sore as possible in a way. And then I just kept doing that like again and again. I wasn't tracking my weight anymore or ever at this point. I still wasn't tracking my how much weights I lifted and stuff. I'd have like a general idea of like my bench max maybe, but that's about it. But again, I was just lifting to really get sore, um, not really get stronger, but I wasn't really gaining that much like size or strength after like two-ish years. So I kind of started to notice I basically looked the same. I wanted to be like a lot bigger because so I didn't think I had like the size that I really wanted for working out for that time frame. So what I started doing then is just um, a lot higher intensity. Like I kept the volume the same, but I do like a lot more drop sets, a lot more sets to failure, a lot more like forced reps at the end of my sets. 
So I was probably doing that for like a good, um, maybe a good six months. I was just like killing myself every day in the gym. I remember uh, some days I'd do upwards of six exercises just for like one muscle group, like chest or something like that. Just absolutely just crush it and just destroy it. Then eventually, I wasn't really watching too much fitness content at this time. I was just kind of doing my thing, working out and stuff like that. But I actually like started to go back and watch how like a lot of these bigger guys, um, especially guys that I'd say were natural. Obviously we can't fully be 100% sure anybody's natural, but I consider them natural. I kind of watched the way they train. And what I noticed is they wouldn't really go to failure like pretty much ever. Like they just work up and wait. And on their top set, it'd be like kind of heavy. You can see them start to slow down and then they just like drop it. And then they move on to the next exercise. And I was like, dang dude, you start training like that. So then that's basically how I started training. I started just working my way up in weight till I felt like pretty heavy and I could noticeably like slow down the reps and then I just pretty much just move on to the next exercise. And uh, instead of doing six plus exercises, cause I was usually doing six, sometimes like seven, eight. Now I was just, now I'm just doing like four or I was just doing like four for like max volume for one muscle group. I was still doing the bro split. So I was doing like four for chest Monday, four for back Tuesday. Yada, 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 you guys know what the bro split is. And then I, I, I'd say I made uh, like actually really good progress just doing that for like a couple months. I think I started to actually like put on some good quality muscle. And I was kind of like doing like a cut slash like maintenance, just trying to like improve my physique, lower body fat, higher muscle mass. So I was just doing that for a little bit, chilling out and stuff like that. And then I, I don't know why, but I decided I wanted to start tracking my lifts and trying to get the strength up. Cause to be honest, I think I'm actually a little bit weaker than what I look. And I realized you're never gonna see some jack dude like struggling on 135 on bench. So now I'm just focused on getting my strength up. That was probably like a month ago. I came to that uh, conclusion. Just started tracking my progress, getting stronger every week. Not not even necessarily stronger, but just outworking my last workout. So I started pretty low intensity, and now I'm working my way up. Now I'm almost at like to the point where I'm training a lot of sets to failure. So I might have to deload or something like that. So that's basically how my trainings progressed throughout the. Three years, three -ish years. That's kind of how I started off and where I'm at now. Will I continue to track my my strength to make sure it keeps going up? I don't know. I might just loosely track it after this. Um, I probably plan on deloading and kind of reevaluating where I'm at. I'm glad you guys uh, stick along for this video. Hopefully, you watched the end. Thanks for listening to my fitness journey, workout progression, um, evolution video thingy. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, baby.